struts here on both sides. I gotta lift it up, break these free while it's on the ground. On the Subarus, you got that uh, right behind the oil pan. There's a center mounting point you can use. It's kind of like a support beam, so it's totally safe to jack up on. So I'll be using, and then just some jack stands on the side. Let me show you the bolts up here. These three are the top ones. I think they're 12 millimeter. See all my bushings are cracked out here. And it's just not working properly. I'm hearing a lot of bottom out and a uh, loss of kind of like alignment and wallowing on the highway. All right, I was under there just doing some inspections and uh, this side looks okay on the control arm, nice and dry. But on the other side, there might be some oil coming out on that joint. Not really sure. I haven't seen that setup before, but these bushings are probably going out anyway. I'll have to get control arm soon. But let's see. I'm shaking. You see all the oil coming out of there. It's probably not good. So I was just under here looking and I saw that too. But we're doing the struts today. I need to check my level on my oil or my uh, transmission fluid. It's a manual transmission gear oil, I'm sorry. But I did, uh, uh, it's wet right there because I spilled filling it up. So it dripped down on there. That might be that. Alright, we got in the air on jack stands with the back wheels chopped. Um, always leave that or some kind of third support in case something fails and we'll be taking it off and getting to the steering knuckle bolts back there take off the ABS bolt and uh, do the ones up top and do my markings like that <laughs> alright we got the wheel off now it does help to get something like this, even if it's a Amazon product. I'll see if I can get the description and link below soon. Uh, this one was maybe around $60, $80, and it's done pretty well. Probably won't be able to take those off, so that's why I have a breaker bar. But I brought, better spray that with PB Blast. <clears throat> get some of this stuff. I'm going to want it. If all fails, I can get my uh, blow torch thing. I'm trying to avoid that, but it does work. <sighs> so let that soak for a minute. I need to make my markings. This is going to be the camber bolt, and this is uh, also documenting my orientation, which way the bolts go in. Take off, take off the uh, ABS here. And this one, I think. That one, and this one. ABS wire and ABS. Oh, see that one's pretty rusty. So, a good trick here is you're gonna wanna actually go back and tighten it. Tighten it one turn, just barely. 
I heard a little creak, and then I'm gonna go back to reverse. Okay. Just let it uh, soak a little bit more. This car did come from New York, so I get to deal with the pain. Let me try my right hand. Oh, there it goes. I do have this thing right here. Earthquake. I'm afraid. can use it kind of like a breaker bar but I don't want to mess it up so I think it could support maybe a hundred foot pounds maybe This one might have a clip or something that you gotta pry out here at the bottom, so I'll be back because that's gonna be hard one handed. But this one doesn't look as bad. I'm gonna still suck it. Alright, I'll be back when I get these off. Just like everything, it's not as easy as you think it's gonna be. Of course, like I said, it's from New York, so it's very rusted. I wasn't able to get enough leverage or anything. I had to end up taking my rotor off. And uh, my brake caliper off and then my rotor was stuck. And then I had to get this long ass extension just to get enough leverage. So I got the first one loose now. And then I'll be working on that second camber bolt, which hopefully won't give me much trouble now that you have all this clearance. So get that rotor off if you're having trouble it's going to help you and that uh brake caliper all those lines out of the way and you'll be able to get in there i use my torch and pv blaster you can pick this up for like nine dollars at walmart and then i think this top piece might be separate a few more dollars but uh it's not too much and then you screw it on and you got yourself a uh DIY mechanic torch. I use that on everything and all those bolts. Alright, basically got everything loose now. Just got that bolt holding it in. And then this one right here. A few threads on. These were 12 millimeter. I had an impact, so it was really easy. Um, don't tighten them down with the impact. You'll probably damage your threads or overdo it. So maybe use a hand tool for this when you go to put it back on. But uh, I'm about to release this here. Let's see if I can get y'all an angle or not. Let's see. That's the best I can really get. Working on uh, getting my other camera.
Jones. Be able to match up my part numbers for the right, for the correct side. I also got on the website to make sure, so make sure you look at that or just uh, refer to whatever you bought. I would stick to OEM. It started raining on me, but I got one side in the driver's side. Passenger side, trying to wait for a little break in the rain. Um, yep, this is the new one, the used one. This is the old one, it's got the cracks in the bushing. You can see that. And I had to take the brake caliper off again. Almost hit me in the face. So be careful. Make sure you use a bungee cord or something. So it doesn't just fall on you. <clears throat> Those were the old ones. I got all of them out. I just got to put the new one in on the other side. I use the torch a lot. So, rally style in the rain. Get back to you when I can with the finished uh, product. Tinker and Tom, please hit subscribe. Alright. Not gonna have time to really show you putting it in, but uh, it pretty much I think only goes one way. Last time I put the other one in, it only fit one way, so that goes up in there. You gotta open your hood, of course, and then uh, don't tighten them all the way down. I mean, tighten them down, but when you put it back on the ground, you have to re tighten it. Uh, just put your ABS stuff back on, rotors, and calipers and stuff like that. And then uh, make sure you torque these down once it's on the ground. So uh, hit subscribe or like. Take your time on YouTube. Peace.